What up, painters? It's Wallboss Tay up in this mood. Welcome to my painting tutorial, how to freehand some lightning bolts. And we're gonna be using this guy as our test model. And the finished effect that we're gonna get is uh, something akin to this guy's lightning bolts on his legs here. So, uh, mainly this is for Night Lords, but you can adapt it to any, any model you're painting, really. The trick is you wanna have a dark background. So for, for my Night Lords, my color scheme for them is that, let's get a little bit closer in, is that we use Cantor Blue as a base color, and then we wash it with Drakenhof Blue. And what that does is it gives us a nice dark and shiny surface. It's nothing as awesome as the old Necron Abyss, but um, for the purposes of, you know, the new paint range, for those of you who can't get any of the old colors, it's the next best thing. So the colors we're gonna use for this tutorial are Lothurn Blue and Pallid Witch Flesh. I'm gonna take a thin brush, make sure that the point is, uh, the tip is nice and pointed. And then we are going to dip it into the Lothern Blue, and we're going to um, put it onto our dry palette and wipe off, or wet palette, and wipe off most of the excess. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna paint the lightning bolts in a zigzag fashion, starting from some place where you can have lots of room. So I started in this little corner up here on the shoulder pad, and you wanna do like as random a pattern as possible. And it's okay if your lightning bolt is really thick at this point because the pallid witch flesh is going to go inside of it. It doesn't have to be thin at all. It's when we get to the white that's inside that we want to thin it down. So for me, I've got something random like that. Might be a little bit too busy. Um, if you're doing like on the leg armor or on a bigger, oops, on a bigger surface area, then you can be a little bit more busy with that. Okay, now we're going on to our palette Witch Flesh. Wipe off the excess one more time. Especially after you just dip the paintbrush into some water to take that blue off. When you put it back into the paint, um, you might still have a lot of extra liquid with that water on your brush. So you want to make sure you don't have too much. And then, can we see? Yeah. You don't have to paint in the whole the whole thing. You could just do junctions of where the lightning streaks every other corner and the especially large areas. So you get something like that. And that is usually how I finish it. But if you want your guy to really stand out, then you can easily do um, add a little bit more of the lighter white colors, like ceramite white or, um, or any of those. So I've got ceramite white. I'm gonna show you just what it looks like if we add just a little bit more. Now ceramite white is the top the purest white in the range. It's like almost completely white. So it would be too bright if we used it everywhere. So for this one, I'm really gonna be sticking mainly to like where the lightning bolts kind of meet at these intersections and where they split like that. It's kind of like Y sections. And at very sharp corners. There you see that the lightning bolt really kind of kind of gives it some depth. And let me show you what it looks like when I do it on a large scale. 
with my Rhino. Take a little Havoc Missile Launcher off. I did the lighting effect here on the side and then you, I just went back over with some of the blue paint and I cleaned up the sides that were just a little bit too, um, too thick, where the bolts were a little bit too thick. I just cleaned it up on the sides and that way you don't have to worry about your lightning bolts being too, um, you know, being too thick and cartoony, I guess let's say. And, but if that's what you want, you can do that. You can make them as thick and cartoony as you want. Personally, I like them a little bit thinner. So, on top of the Rhino, this is how our guy will look. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to paint lightning bolts. Um, some, besides just the Night Lords, where you can find them looking most predominantly, I also think that you could do lightning bolts on um, vampire counts for the Warhammer Fantasy range. And on um, you can also do this very well on any empire, like the Hurricanum or Arcanum or whatever those big machines are. Or on um, also, for example, anything that has to do with a Celestial Mage you can also use some lightning bolts. Let me just pop this door on. And, um, it's a really it's a cool effect from the opposite end of the table. It looks it looks good. Just remember you have to stick with a dark background. If you want to do like lightning bolts on a red surface, that might be another option too. If like you're doing vampire counts and you want to do red lightning bolts on a shield, all you do is you substitute the different color for blue. So because we went with blue, I use Cantor blue and then um, and then. Uh, Lothar blue, but if you're doing red, you could use um, corn red, Mephiston red, then an orange, and then go to white. You always end up going up to white, but the lightning colors underneath the white is what is going to um, change depending on what the background color is that you're doing. So thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial, and we will see you when this rhino is completely done. I'll make a little video on that. Thanks for watching, take it easy. Latest players.